so welcome um to my other video of the day and it's gonna be about some um some squid fishing it's gonna be another one i'll probably gonna put it in the playlist of squid fishing um yeah okay so it's uh me, t me talking about the yamashita lure the uh, soft one the golden bait one yamashita corp i'm not sure which one which, i mean I've heard lots about it. I don't remember the name right now. It's these soft body ones. Um, let me open it up. The lure itself. Okay, so um, when I saw it at the store, I was like, um, fine. Looks pretty lame to me. I mean, um, at the beginning, it actually does look retarded. Then, I, uh, I figured out that it. It was a soft, soft body one, one that you guys can squish up nice and well. Um, I think it's some jelly or something inside. Awesome more, awesome, awesome, awesome. I actually tested one out of these, but not um right now in uh I think last year. Yeah, last year I had tested this guy out and was awesome. And uh. It doesn't have scent, I think, um, but it's awesome. Really cool lure. Very, uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's very soft. I mean, not very soft. It's not, it's soft, but it's not, like, gives me the feeling that it's not gonna get destroyed, um, very easily. Well, at least I hope so. <laughs> and the coloring is pretty nice. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, there are various colors. Choose this guy because it looked more the most um, na natural. I mean, good the uh, uh, best one uh, for my area areas in which I fish. And but the bad thing, um, if I had made a video uh, of me at the shop, <laughs> you would have heard me saying like, "What the hell?" I mean. Come on, the body's awesome, everything is awesome, but the back, really. I mean, I'm not sure, I, I wish that this was a feature for the buoyance or something, but uh, apparently it's not. I mean, I don't think so, even if I hoped so. Uh, that, um, look, that's just the back. And it's not even soft, it's all hard, it's all hard plastic. Hope you guys see that. Let's zoom in well. My camera's actually going uh, a bit crazy lately. Woo! Here you go. I mean, really? Come on. Made this awesome lure. Tell me the back. I'm not sure. I haven't researched anything, but, um, for, I don't know, maybe this is the boy or something. I think I have no clue um, about that. I should have asked the shop owner, maybe the you. But uh, apparently, uh, I can't read Japanese, so uh, <laughs> I can't understand it. So I can't read what it says, and maybe it explains what this is. So um, drawbacks is done, I guess. But the good things is, I mean, they actually uh, something that I think is awesome is that sometimes when you get small lures they either have the single row which I personally uh, don't like or they just um have the small 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 little needle things um and really no they didn't um they didn't do it on this on um, this uh, lure and I'm really happy about it I think that there might be other models that um have the same thing. Well, let me um simply cut a little piece off. And even if I'd uh, never uh, use actually braid as my um uh, I know um how do you say what is I'm um as my final I mean. As the end of my line, and uh, uh, I'm just uh, gonna do this for the 
demonstration. Simple, a simple clinch knot does the trick for me, especially when squid fishing, because the squid don't pull that hard. And um, the braid is practically for you guys to see it. I mean, well, um, so simply, I usually have little, either the tiny, tiny, tiny little swivels or the squared ones. Um, any swivel or anything is fine. I usually have a very long leader, like of a fluorocarbon, I mean, very long, like a meter or something, for for even for a little squid thing like this. Because, I mean, I'm not sure if this is scientific or anything, but I think that the squid actually see it pretty well because of the huge eyeballs. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that, and um, so yeah. Um, so I think that they might see it. I'm not sure about that, uh, but, um, I mean, they probably see it, or else there would be no need of fluorocarbon. And so, um, what I like about this fluorocarbon, uh, uh, this, uh, not this fluorocarbon, this braid, that, um, it's really, um, thin. This is actually a, um, 16 pound test. No, no, I mean, 12 pound test, and it's... Is zero seventeen point seventeen or something? Um, uh, let me zoom it in. Yeah, uh, today maybe. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Whatever. It's very thin. Believe me. Um, zero five. No, actually zero fifteen, and. Look right there. Zero fifteen. So, kind of also a second type of re second review thing because I already made a review in another video. Kind of um and so yeah. Another thing when you go squid fishing, really be organized. I mean, um, always have your leaders. Really, just that you have it in your pockets, or I mean. Just laying there, or display that you know, uh, in order maybe, or just any type. Like, let's see. And these guys that I just bought um like, like this. Well, like, this is deep, shallow, medium deep, medium shallow. I mean, uh, big size, small, bigger size, bigger size, and even bigger. I don't just give keep them in order. Especially when you're out there fishing, and always have the leader already wrapped out. Especially if you have a uh, braid. And it, I'm afraid that this is it. For, no, 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 never mind. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I can still talk about something and drawing your day or something. <laughs> I mean, just kidding. Um, I still gotta tell you something that um I actually figured out. Um, that you wanna use. Let's see if I have any. Ooh. Whoa, um, never mind. I'll just give it for my, oh, for whatever. I'll just use this fellow as an example. Okay, so, whatever. Um, just, wait, what you do is, there are two main rigs that I use. There's type A, no, three main, type A, four, <laughs> whatever. I'll just say them by the, by the go, let's say, by the go. And, um, so, first of all, that's the plain one, plain, uh, lure, and line, leader, or whatever. Or, it's the plain lure with, in the middle, I mean, 20 centimeters or something, like this. Under, yeah, on, uh, above, you want to put a little, um, make a little thing. A loop and thread up the main, the head. I mean, uh, the I mean, the the one that you should usually um the eye hole that you usually I say you usually put line through. Just loop it over and do something like this. Okay, very simple. This guy um is gonna when you retrieve it, this guy's gonna move around and. You actually have the chance to catch two squids, one on this lure, one on the second lure. Um, I usually use a normal lure at the end, normal um, squid jig at the end, and a, another normal 
another simple lure, classic lure, the grapple, decent sized hooks, um, just at the beginning, because this guy moves around, and, uh, this guy moves around also, so it's better, now, or else, um, what I'll do is having a very, um, fast sinking, uh, uh, squid jig at the end, and then have a, another one, like this guy, exactly like this guy usually, um, here, like this, same higher but of this one, and, um, especially, uh, usually here I have ones that have, I'm sure if you guys can see it, um, this type of eyepiece, and not the metallic circle, because this thing, uh, th this type, apparently, um, reduces the tangle and stuff, but, uh, anyways, just, uh, check this guy's, this lure out, it's a soft body, I think it's a soft body bait, um, Golden bait Yamashita. Well, yeah, just go soft body Yamashita. Google it up. I'm gonna find some results. Anyways, I'm just gonna give you guys a little spin around the lure. Meanwhile, and um, yeah, uh, I might. I'm during the Christmas break. I'm not gonna post many videos because I'm gonna be during Christmas vacation. Huh? And uh, people coming out and in uh here so yeah so <laughs> yeah, remember to comment rate and subscribe because this is the end of the what video and yeah